education this is law and ethics in pharmacy practice for NTA level 4 second semester today we are going to discuss about the uh, code of ethics and the professional conduct of pharmaceutical practitioners and by the end of this session students are expected to be able to define important terms used in code of ethics explain the background of code of ethics and explain the code of ethics baada kwa tumeangalia Act na regulation F, Act F mila kumina moja na regulation F mila kumina mbili uh, Katika section number 34 About to summary session of premises Tukasoma section number 36 Of Farmers Act 2011 Tukasoma Permit application Tukasoma section number 18 of Farmers Practice Regulation 2012 On condition of establishment of, And the operation of farmers Tukasoma section of number 20 ya yeah, farmers practice F2012 application for pharmacy registration section number 21 tukasoma registration of pharmacy uh, tukaja section number 27 tukasoma categories of registers uh, today we are going to see code of ethics ambayo nayo ni muhimu sana code of ethics maana yake ni uh, tunakwenda sasa kwenye kanuni za maadili uh, kila kila taaluma ina maadili yake kwa hiyo hapa tukwenda kuona what are the code of of ethics za pharmacy practice kama nilivyosema by the end of this session we shall see or define important terms using the code of ethics explain the background of code of ethics explain code of ethics definitions pharmaceutical personnel as per this code of ethics and professional conduct means registered pharmacist and not pharmaceutical technician and listed pharmaceutical assistant and interning pharmacist. Uh, pharmacist means a person registered under section number 16 per Pharmacy Act 2011, Cap number 311. Kwa hiyo pharmaceutical personnel, unapazumuza pharmaceutical personnel, unazumuza watu wa wane, unazumuza registered pharmacist, unazumuza enrolled pharmaceutical technician, unazumuza enlisted pharmaceutical assistant, na unazumuza intern pharmacist. Pharmaceutical technician means a person enrolled under section number 24 as per Farmers Act Yelfumina kumina moja Sula ya miatatu kumina moja Pharmaceutical assistance means a person enlisted under section number 28 of Farmers Council Act of 2011, Cap number 311 Intern pharmacist, intern pharmacist means any person registered as such under section 17 of Farmers Council Act 2011, Cap number 311 Professional misconduct. Professional misconduct. Ma, ma, Manaki ni uh, uvunjifu wa kanuni za 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 taaluma. Kutoa kusema professional misconduct. What does it mean? It means any conduct which is in breach of the code of conduct prescribed under the Farmers Council Act 2011 and Cap 311. Farmers practice means an act pertaining to the scope of practice of pharmacist, pharmaceutical technician and pharmaceutical assistants as approved by the council. Farmers council means a council established under section number 3 of Farmers Council Act 2011, Cap number 311. Breaches. What does it mean when we say breaches? Manake ni kuvunja taratibu au kuvunja sheria. Means an act or breaking violating or disregarding an obligation of code of ethics and the professional conduct professionalism <coughs> sorry professionalism means active demonstration of the following traits ukionyesha ukionyesha mambo yafuatayo utakuwa umefanya what we call professionalism uh, when you you demonstrate knowledge and skills of a profession, commitment to self-improvement of skill and knowledge, service se, uh, knowledge, service orientation, pride in the profession, collaborative relationship with the patient, a patient, creativity and innovation, concerns and trustworthiness, accountability for his or her work, ethical sound decision making and leadership. Kama ukionyesha, ukidemonstrate all of this, utakuwa umefanya what we call professionalism. Kwa hiyo professionalism means all of, these all of these traits. Knowledge and skills of a profession, commitment to self-improvement of skill and knowledge, service orientation, pride in the profession, uh, collaborative relationship with the patient, 
creative and innovation, concerns and trustworthiness, accountability for his or her work, ethical sound decision making and the leadership. Introduction uh, Code of Ethics of Professional Contact Pharmaceutical Personnel. Code of Ethics is intended to set standards for profession contact for all pharmaceutical personnel, pharmacy support, pharmacy support personnel and persons lawful conducting business of a pharmacy within the meaning of the Pharmacy Act 2011. Kwa tutafuzumumzia kanuni za maadili. Kanuni za maadili ni ndo hizo mbao zinakuenda uh, kutengeneza sasa, kutengeneza standards za profession ambazo zinamungoza pharmaceutical personnel au mtu yote ambaye anafanya shughuli hizo zinazoana zinazoana na pharmacy uh, kwa mujibu wa taratibu na sheria zilizowekwa na Pharmacy Act ya 2011. It comprises two parts, codes or principles and obligations. Kwa hiyo hapo kuna kanuni na wajibu. Kuna kanuni na wajibu katika uh, vitu hivyo vinavyozungumziwa hapo. Together this sets out the fundamental duties which apply to all pharmaceutical personnel and where appropriate persons lawful conducting pharmacy business. Kwa hiyo yote mawili ndio yanaenda kutengeneza msingi kabisa wa wa utendaji kazi, msingi kabisa wa majukumu, msingi kabisa wa activities zote ambazo zinatakiwa kufanya uh, pharmaceutical personnel au mtu yote ambaye kwa mujibu wa taratibu na sheria kama zilivyowekwa na Pharmacy Act ana conduct pharmacy business. Any professional misconduct or omission on the part of the profession of a person who is registered in terms of the Farmers Act 2011 may be declared unfit to practice or attract investigation by the council. Why once you misconduct or you breach or you omit anything uh, which is legisl or which is uh, by the Act of 2011, hapo tuweza tuka declare kwamba you are unfit to practice or you may attract investigation by the council kwa hiyo kama kutokea uvunjifu wa taratibu zilowekwa ina maana sasa hapo taonekana kwamba you as pharmaceutical personnel you are unfit to practice or you may attract investigation by the council kwa hiyo unasababisha farmers council ikaanza kufanya investigation ikaanza kufanya, kufanya upelelezi wa kujua uh, makosa uliyofanya na baadaye unaweza ka ukabisa objected kwenye punishment or penalty an oath of allegiance and co and co and the code of ethics constitute the formal declaration of ethics of pharmacy profession swearing an oath is a symbolically a formal step in the profession socialized socialization processes kwa hiyo kiapo cha utii kiapo cha utii na kanuni za maadili ndio zinakwenda kutengeneza maadili ya uh, taaluma ya pharmacy ndore <coughs> Oath emphasizes collegial allegiance to the profession. The Code of Ethics emphasizes societal duty of the pharmaceutical personnel. The pharmaceutical personnel pledge to make the welfare of humanity and the relief of human suffering primary concerns. Kwa hiyo uh, pharmaceutical personnel anapokapa pale na kwenye kiapo cha uti kile kwenye Oath of Allegiance na kufuata kanuni za maadili anakwenda kwenye kutengeneza a welfare of humanity sawa maisha bora kwa maisha bora au mazingira bora ya ubinadamu na kusaidia wale watu ambao wanasafa katika matatizo mbalimbali this implies an individual commitment to the patient and the collective commitment to the society while the pharmaceutical personnel pledge to behave in a more or ethical manner the oath does not define that that behavior the foundation of all ethical behavior is the, uh, is basically perception do good and avoid the evil. The, the ethics of pharmacy attempts to relate this basic perception to its practice. Kwa hiyo kinachotuongoza hapa katika katika taaluma yetu uh, we have to agree that uh, we are supposed to do good and avoid the evil. Background of code of ethics. A profession is distinguished by the willingness of an individual practitioner to comply with ethical and professional standards which exceed the minimum legal requirements the law of pharmaceutical personnel is developing and recognized the, as the expert on medicine within the overall health system to ensure people maintain good health through responsible use of medicine kwa hiyo kinachotofautisha sisi hapa a profession is distinguished hii taaluma inatofautisha katika utendaji wetu wa kazi na kwamba we have to comply with ethical and professional standards which exceed the minimum legal requirements 
the role of pharmaceutical personnel is developing and recognized as the expert on medicine. Kwa hiyo sisi kama wanataaluma wa mambo ya dawa, we are recognized as expert of medicines within the overall health system. Katika mfumo mzima wa masuala afya, kwa hiyo we pharmaceutical personnel we are, we are expert on medicine and we are supposed to ensure people maintain good health through responsible use of medicine. Hiyo ni jukumu letu sisi. <coughs> To practice a pharmaceutical personnel means undertaking any role, whether remunerated or not, in which an individual uses his profession, skills and knowledge. Pharmaceutical practices are not restricted to the provision of direct clinical care, but also include working in a non-clinical relationship. Kwa hiyo pharmaceutical practice, haiangali tu kwamba ni, haiangali kwamba ni is the provision of direct clinical care, kwamba moja kwa moja kuangalia mambo ya matibabu, lakini uh, ina include na mambo mengine ambayo wanasema kwamba it includes working in a non clinical relationship with the consumers kwa kuna mambo mengine ambayo they are out of clinical relationship lakini we are supposed to 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 do or to practice patient or caretakers in the discovery develop, development and the manufacture of medicine kwa hiyo we are supposed to to be included or we are supposed to practice haya mambo out of uh, direct clinical care in maintaining uh, and supply chain katika manunuzi procurement uh, and in uh, in procurement kuyo tunapozungumza kwamba pharmaceutical practice are, are not restricted to the provision of direct clinical care lakini vile vile una kusika katika mambo hayo kama nilivyoainisha hapo kwamba you are we are included in working in, in a non clinical relationship with the consumers uh, patient or caretakers in the discovery and development and the manufacture of medicine in maintaining the supply chain or procurement all of these are activities which pharmaceutical personnel anatakiwa kuzifanya either is it enumerated or not the code of ethics will therefore apply to pharmaceutical personnel in all pharmacy practice settings kwa hiyo hizi kanuni za maadili uh, will be applied to all pharmaceutical uh, personnel and in all pharmacy practice settings. Kwa hiyo kanuni zote hizi hapa zitatumika katika mazingira yote ambayo mfamasia uh, au pharmaceutical personnel atakuwa anafanya kazi yake inayohusiana na uh, na pharmacy. At all times code should strive to provide the best possible care for consumers. Kwa hiyo muda wote hizi kanuni zitakuwa zinaelekeza au zitajitahidi kujikita katika kusaidia eh, kuimprove uh, uh, care for consumers patient and caretakers with the due to regard for the limitation of available resources and the principle of equity and justice. Kwa hiyo katika ku katika kutekeleza majukumu yake uh, pharmacy, pharmaceutical personnel akiabide kwenye codes and the ethics za za za, za profession yake lazima vile vile awe within the limitation of available resources and uh, anatumie atumie principle of equity and justice atumie principle ya usawa na haki. Sorry. These code of ethics and professional con conduct for pharmaceutical personnel therefore intended to reaffirm and state publish the obligation that form the basis of the roles and responsibility of pharmaceutical personnel. Well, his code of ethics is kanuni za maadili ndio zinakwenda sasa kuleta uh, kuleta uh, wajibu. Wajibu ambao pharmaceutical personnel anatakiwa kutekeleza. This obligation is based on the establishment established ethical principles are provided to enable and guide the pharmaceutical personnel in their daily practice of their profession. Codes. The principle or kanuni, the principle or code and therefore supporting explanation and obligation form the basis for the provision of a consistent high quality profession service which safeguards and promotes the well-being of the community and maintain public confidence in the profession. The principle are equally important and are listed in no particular orders. Kwa principle zote hizi hizi codes uh, zimeainishwa huko kwa kufuata kwa kufuata utaratibu lakini sio kwa kuangalia ubora. Zote ziko sawa sawa kwa hiyo they are listed in no particular order. They are all important, they are equally important and they are listed in no particular order. These are the principle and codes which zinazotongoza sisi kama uh, pharmaceutical personnel.
As pharmaceutical personnel must have regard for human life hiyo ni ya kwanza must earn and identify the profession should ensure availability of safe efficacious and quality medicine should ensure access to essential medicine should promote and ensure relations of medicine should have good pharmaceutical personnel patient or client relationship must ensure uh, privacy and confidentiality should be competent and have life a lifelong learning should have a good pharmaceutical personnel and other healthcare providers relationship must ensure well-being of the community is in code sambazo ni kanuni zinazotuongoza ni codes of ethics au ni principles zinazotuongoza sisi as pharmaceutical personnel kwanza ni lazima tujali maisha lakini vile vile ni lazima tuheshimu taaluma yetu tuhakikishe kuna upatikanaji wa dawa ambazo ni salama na zenye ubora Uh, tuhakikishe kwamba kuna uh, kila mtu ana uwezo wa kupata uh, essential medicines dawa muhimu tuhakikishe lazima tuhakikishe kwamba tuna promote tunakuza matumizi sahihi ya dawa uh, mahusiano mazuri kati ya yetu sisi na, na, na wagonjwa na clients lakini vile vile lazima tu watu wa kutunza sili uh, tuwe tayari tuwe, tuwe tayari kujifunza maisha yetu yote lakini vile vile tuhakikishe kwamba tuna mahusiano mazuri na uh, wana taaluma wenzetu na tuhakikishe kwamba tunafanya kazi kwa manufaa ya uendelezaji wa afya ya jamii. General obligation in the areas of practice pharmaceutical personnel must promote developing implement and maintain policies, rules, regulation and standard guidelines that are designed to ensure provision of quality pharmaceutical care services. So this is the general obligation ambapo pharmaceutical personnel lazima au au responsible to promote, develop na ku implement uh, na ku maintain policies uh, law regulation and standard lazima mtu uwe uh, uwe tayari ku develop na ku maintain sera na sheria na uh, miongozi yote inayohusiana na na taaluma yako lakini vile vile that are those which are designed to ensure provision of quality of pharmaceutical care services hizo zote ambazo hizo hizo ambazo eh, pa, eh, pharmaceutical personnel you are, you are supposed to promote lazima ziwe kwenye target uh, they are designed to ensure provision of quality pharmaceutical care services ambayo ndo target yetu sisi as pharmaceutical personnel code number one, regard for human life pharmacy practice aspires to improve the quality of human life through the provision of the medicine and related services therefore pharmaceutical personnel have the highest regard for human life and uh, dedicated dedicated to increase opportunities for individuals to enjoy the full benefit of healthy lives within the limits of their natural environments kwa hiyo katika regard human life katika regard human life lazima pharmaceutical personnel uh, hakikisha kabisa kwamba Uh, na increase the opportunity of individual to enjoy the full benefit of the health. Wakisha kwa kwa kadri ya uwezo wako unahakisha kwamba uh, clients ambao ni uh, clients au patients wana enjoy uh, una increase na wana enjoy opportunity for individual to uh, enjoy the full benefit of the healthy lives within the limits of their natural environments. Utakuwa umefanya regard for human life kuhakikisha kwamba clients wamepata huduma ambao ni sahihi na clients wame enjoy Uh, enjoy ile kazi uliyofanya wewe as a pharmaceutical personnel obligations and uh, uh, regard for human life obligations obligation number one is induction or inhibition of gestations gestation pharmaceutical personnel must not go katika induction and or inhibition of gestations pharmaceutical personnel you are not supposed to do provide contraceptives to under age persons or any other person legally incapable of making independent decision usimpatie mtu yote dawa ambazo zina kwenda ku um, dawa za, za kuzuia mimba ambaye ambaye ni yuko chini ana umri chini na vile vile ambaye kisheria hana uwezo wa kuji ku, ku, kuamua hana maamuzi mpaka apate msimamizi kwa hiyo without involving medical practitioner their parents parents or legal guardians in the decision making process. Kwa hiyo wale watu ambao hawawezi kujiamulia wanahitaji maamuzi ya mtu msimamizi uh, mlezi hawaruhusiwi you as pharmaceutical personnel you are not supposed to provide contraceptives kwao na wale ambao they are under aged persons. Provide medicine for the purpose of inducing illegal abortion. Kwa hiyo support illegal abortion. Hii ni obligation number one ambayo iko under under uh, regard for human life.
The second obligation under regard for human life, growth, development, and performance enhancer. A pharmaceutical personnel must disregard the use of performance enhancing growth and sex stimulants drugs without medical supervision. Kwa hiyo si wape watu dawa ambazo zinakwenda kuwasaidia kusimua misuli au kusimua uh, dawa ambazo they are sexual stimulants bila maelekezo ya wahusika au maelekezo ya practitioners disregard the use of medicine that are intended to modify the physical and physical mental or psychological personality of a person so, vile vile ustoe dawa ambazo they are inhibited kwa mfano it's cosmetics ambazo they are inhibited ambazo zinakwenda kuchange zinakwenda kuchange the physical appearance ya, ya mtu kwa hiyo kama ni dawa ambazo zinaenda kuchange physical appearance ya mtu zinakwenda kufanya modification au zinakwenda kuchange mental or psychological personality of a person you are not supposed to provide dawa za namna hiyo au ku engage katika uh, activities ya kutoa dawa hizi. Kwa hiyo under growth development and performance enhancer you as a pharmacy pharmaceutical personnel you have to disregard the use of performance enhancing growth and sexual stimulants drugs without medical supervision uh, disregard the use of medicine that are intended to modify the physical, mental or psychological personality of a person. Uh, then we come to termination of life kukatisha maisha kukatisha maisha a pharmaceutical personnel must not uh, supply medicine for any criminal termination of human life and should take reasonable, reasonable precaution against those who intend to procure medicine for such purposes why you as a pharmaceutical personnel you are not supposed to supply medicine for any criminal termination of human life jambo lote ambalo linakwenda kukatisha maisha ya mtu ambalo ambalo halipo kiutaratibu uh, au utaki kujihusisha na jambo lote jambo lote ambalo linakwenda kukatisha maisha ya mtu na vile vile should have taken reasonable precaution against those who intended to procure medicine for such purposes mtu amekuja kwenye pharmacy yako anakuambia uh, anataka dawa ambayo you una wewe uki, uki, uki angalia, unaona kabisa kwamba hiyo inakwenda kufanya termination of life lazima uteke precaution na ikibidi uh, lazima ukatae disagree kumpa dawa hiyo baada ya kum, kumhoji unaweza ka disagree kumpa dawa hiyo kwa sababu we as pharmaceutical uh, personnel are not supposed to supply medicine for any criminal termination of human life and we should have take uh, reasonable precaution against those who intend to procure medicine for such purposes you as pharmaceutical personnel be you are you are not supposed to uh, uh, you are not supposed to to support you are not allowed to support the use of medicine in an, an act of voluntary euthanasia what is euthanasia voluntary euthanasia the act of killing someone painless especially he is applicable kwa wale ambao wanakuwa wameugua magonjwa muda mrefu sana ambao ambao hawezi kupona na hii kuna baadhi ya nchi ambazo zina support voluntary euthanasia kwa mfano Netherlands Belgium Colombia Luxembourg na Canada hizi zina support hiyo 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 voluntary euthanasia iko legal kabisa wana support kwamba a person a, mtu yote akiumwa kwa muda mrefu ule ugonjwa ambao hawezi kupona let's say anauma amesha anauma cancer na yuko kwenye stage ya mwisho kabisa kwa hiyo anaweza uh, akakomiti voluntary euthanasia ambao is the act of killing someone painless especially someone suffering from an incurable illness kwa hiyo you as a pharmaceutical personnel you are not allowed to support the use of medicine in any act of voluntary euthanasia participating in any act of or scheme designed to cause mass inhalation or suffering of other human beings so, usijihusishe katika namna yote ambayo inakasababisha uh, mauaji ya watu wengi au watu wengi kupata shida you are not supposed to to engage in that activities or participating in any act or scheme designed to cause mass mass inhalation or suffering of other human being code number 2 honor and identify profession pharmaceutical personnel by virtue of their mission are health, health care providers and therefore drive much respect from the community they are also respected by other healthcare workers as experts on medicine and as a reputable source of information kwa hiyo we as pharmaceutical personnel uh, watu wanategemea kwamba uh, wakija kwetu watapata reliable we are reliable source of information 
about medicines kwa hiyo and we are reputed by the uh, by the we are respected by the other health cares kwa sababu tunaaminika kabisa kwamba we are expert on medicines therefore pharmaceutical personnel right to regard and should portray themselves as responsible personnel supervisors to medicine activities use and custodian so, kwa hiyo kwa sababu sisi tunaaminika hivyo we are supposed to na sisi kufanya kuheshimu na kuipa heshima profession yetu kwa sababu other health workers wanatuamini kabisa kwamba we are expert in in on on medicine na duty yetu sasa au activities yetu katika kulifanya hili kwamba tuendelee kuheshimika kama watu ambao we are expert in uh, on medicine ni lazima tutoe tu source of source of uh, we have to be a reliable source of information and it's rough for pharmaceutical personnel and right to free the guardian should portray themselves as responsible person who specializes in medicine activities use and the custodians they uphold the honor and dignity uh, of the profession and do not engage in activities that may bring their professional into disrepute kwa hiyo ni lazima tusijihusishe kabisa we are not supposed to engage in any activities that may bring the, the our profession into uh, uh, to be distributed distributed kwamba tusije tukajihusisha katika kazi yote au kitendo chote kile any act ambayo inakusababisha taaluma yetu ikakosa kuheshimika na wana taaluma wenzetu au kwa jamii kwa ujumla obligations are there is to the law pharmaceutical personnel must observe the provision of the pharmacy act cap number 311 and Tanzania Food Drugs and Cosmetics Act of 2003 and other related laws kwa hiyo katika kuwa there to the law ni lazima tuabidi kwenye taratibu zote zilizowekwa kwenye pharmacy act uh, ya 2011 na vile vile lazima tuabidi kwenye taratibu zilizowekwa kwenye cosmetics act drug and food Uh, food and drug cosmetics ya mwaka 2003 na mambo mengine yote yanayohusiana na sheria zinahusiana na na mambo ya pharmacy ensure the observation of all legal and professional requirements in relation to the to pharmaceutical aspect of the business kwa hiyo lazima tuhakikishe mambo yote yanayokiliopo kisheria uh, yanayohusiana na professional yetu yanatekelezwa yanayohusiana na biashara ya pharmacy ya pharmacy yanatekelezwa ensure there is no any breach of law hakuna uvunjaji wa sheria whether or not directly related to pharmacy profession practice which may bring the profession to this dispute kama niliona kule nyuma kwamba tunakusema kwamba ku dignify to wana dignify our profession ni lazima tuhakikishe kwa namna yote ile kwamba tunailinda na kuipa heshima taaluma yetu ya ya pharmacy tusije tukafanya vitendo vyote vile vya uvunjaji wa sheria ambavyo vinaweza kupelekea taaluma yetu kukosa heshima yake kwa jamii au kwa wanatamani wenzetu if happen it may be considered to be misconducted if we, this is uh, this happen tunataka kusema kwamba ume breach na umefanya uh, professional misconduct oath of allegiance to the profession kiapo cha utii kwenye taaluma yetu pharmaceutical personnel katika ku katika ku katika ku uh, Uh, katika ana and dignify of profession lazima tuwe na cap oath of allegiance to the profession pharmaceutical personnel should play his part in providing the best services and should avoid any act or omission that could prejudice the public or impair confidence in the pharmaceutical professional as a whole kwa hiyo as, as pharmaceutical personnel lazima uh, lazima to, 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 to fanya sehemu yetu au tutekeleze majukumu yetu ambayo yatahakikisha kwamba Uh, hayataleta hataleta uh, mgongano na chuki katika jamii na vile vile kuifanya uh, kuifanya profession ya, ya pharmacy uh, kupoteza 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 muonekano wake kwamba this profession is very important to the community well-being kwa hiyo we as pharmaceutical personnel we have to play our part in providing the best service and we should avoid any act or omission that could be prejudice abridge the public or impair confidence in the pharmaceutical professional as well but ndio yote ambayo anaweza kufanya jamii ikashindwa kutuelewa as pharmaceutical personnel but ndio anaweza kufanya jamii ikachukia professional yetu lazima tu avoid have due regard for the reasonably accepted standards or of behavior both within and outside his professional practice
not use a use or permit the use of his qualification or position to mislead or the fraud so to stumie uh, qualification yako stumie stoe kibali au kutumia qualification yako au nafasi yako uh, katika kada hii ya pharmacy ya pharmacy kuleta taarifa ambazo ni za uongo ku defraud au ku mislead society not ag not agree to practice under terms or condition that interfere with the or impair the proper aspect of professional judgment and skill that cause deterioration of the part of professional services or require consent of the unethical conduct or to pharmaceutical personnel kiapo sasa kiapo cha pharmaceutical personnel unapo hapa unasema at this time I vow to devote my profession life to the service of mankind through the profession of the farmers. I will consider the welfare of humanity and the relief of human suffering my primary concerns. I will use my knowledge and skill to the best of my ability in serving the public and other health profession. I will do my best to keep a list of developments and maintain professional competence in my profession of farmers. I will obey laws governing the practice of farmers and I will support enforcement of such laws. I will maintain the highest standards of moral and ethical conduct. I take this policy voluntarily with the full realization of the trust and responsibility with which I am empowered by the public ninachukua uh, nina hapa ninachukua kiapiki kwa bila kushuruti na kusema kwamba nitafanya kazi kadri ya uwezo wangu kama nilivyoainishwa na jamhuri hiki ni kiapo ambacho pharmaceutical personnel wana hapa kwamba watatumikia wana wataendeleza taaluma yao kwa kufuata taratibu na sheria zilizowekwa kwa hiyo you may pass the through it ni kiapo ambacho you as pharmacy pharmaceutical personnel unatakiwa ukijue Just me repeat at this time i vote to devote my profession life to the service of mankind through the profession of farmers i will consider the welfare of human humanity and relief of human suffering my primary concern i will use my knowledge and skills to the best of my ability in serving the public and other health profession I will do my best to keep abreast of developments and maintain professional competence in my professional farmers. I will obey law laws governing the practice of farmers and I will support enforcement of such laws. I will maintain the highest standards of moral and ethical conduct. I take this force voluntarily with the full realization of the trust and responsibility within with which I am empowered by the public. That is the oath of the pharmaceutical personnel relationship with other pharmaceutical personnel he now equal under under ana indigenity dignity of profession relationship relationship with other pharmaceutical personnel pharmaceutical personnel when appropriately demonstrate willingness to, willingness at all times to provide advice and support to colleagues should actively be involved in with his professional organization in the provision of training coaching and mentoring should refrain from publicly criticizing colleagues colleagues or their action exercising the discretion in relation to all profession matters kwa hiyo lazima kwamba usijihusishe katika mambo yote ambayo yana criticize usijihusishe katika mambo yote ambayo yatamfanya mfanya uh, kazi mwenzako ajisikie vibaya katika maamuzi yake. Kwa hiyo unapofanya unapofanya mambo hayo lazima ufanye in discretion. Lazima ufanye kwa makini. You have to exercise exercise discretion in relation to all professional matters. Mambo yote yanayohusiana na professional hii lazima uyafanye kwa makini. Usiyo ukamcriticize, ukamchallenge mtu uh, publicly ambaye ni mfanya kazi mwenzio. Na lazima usiche katika uh, kuhakikisha unatoa training pale unapotakiwa unatoa coaching na unakuwa a good mentor
Honda Math 3 availability of safe efficacious and quality medicine kwa kisha kwamba kunapatikana dawa ambazo ni salama na zenye ubora Pharmaceutical personnel are involved in all activities that lead to the availability of medicine to patients. Lazima ujihusishe katika activities kwa sababu wewe ni ni medicine expert. Wewe ni mtaalamu wa dawa. Any activities which is is involved in uh, uh, availability of medicine lazima is pharmaceutical personnel uhusike. These activities including research, manufacture, supply chain, regulatory regulatory advisory uh, policy development and uh, prescribing and dispensing pharmaceutical personnel must ensure that the medicine are safe efficacious and good, of good quality and his professional service is available all of the time ko katika katika activities zote ambazo zinahusikana mambo ya medicine katika tizi ambazo zinahusikana availability of essential or availability of medicine in general you as pharmaceutical personnel lazima be included. Na hizo hizo activities ni kama hivyo zinaainisha hapo kwamba kuna research, uh, training, manufacture, supply chain, regulatory, advisory, policy development, prescribing and dispensing and pharmaceutical personnel lazima vile vile uhakikishe uh, kwamba your services are available all the time. Obligation and uh, availability of safe, efficacious and quality medicine while ensuring the safety of case and quality of medicine under his charge must act to the all hardest integrity concern for the patients in any practice must ensure compliance with all profession and ethical requirements for conducting his professional roles in the respective authorities should not collude with any person to perform act specifically pertaining to the profession of pharmacy which have negative implication to the professional patient Uh, patient and public in general. Kwa hiyo usiungane na mtu yote yule, uh, usiungane na mtu yote yule akaja akakushawishi kufanya mambo ambayo yatakwenda kusababisha uh, negative attitude or negative implication to our profession. Kwa lazima uavoid kujumuika na watu katika kusababisha negative implication uh, to the professional profession. Hayo mambo yote ambayo yanakwenda kuleta muonekano mbaya au anakwenda kubi eh, kubi kuleta kwenye eh, bad perception ya patient au public in general kuhusu taaluma ya, ya pharmacy wewe as a pharmacist or pharmaceutical personnel you are not allowed to collude with any person ambaye atakuwa anakuelekeza au anakushawishi kwenda kufanya mambo ambayo yataleta negative implication to the profession of patient and public in general must not withhold any information relating to the efficacy safety or quality of any medicine or method of practice whenever required to do so by government uh, by a government or authority kwa hiyo uh, if you are needed to give out any information ambayo unajua about efficacy safety or quality of medicine you as pharmaceutical personnel uwe tayari kutoa cooperation uwe tayari kushirikiana na mamlaka husika zile zinazotaka kupata information kuhusu dawa hiyo must condone any act by fellow pharmaceutical personnel another healthcare professional or any other person that withhold information on safety figures or quality of medicine or method of practice kwa hiyo kama kuna kuna mtu yote ambaye ana hataki ku disclose information zinazohusiana na safety figures and quality of any medicine kama nilivyosema you are not supposed to collude with it him or her lakini vile vile whatever ikitokea hivyo you as pharmaceutical personnel uwe tayari kutoa information kwamba somebody is not uh ndio anaye with hold information kwa hiyo anatakiwa uh, atusaidie kupata information of safety on safety efficacy and of medicine lakini must not make false or unjustified claims as to the efficacy safety or quality of any medicine useme useme toe taarifa za uongo kuhusiana na usalama na ubora wa dawa you are not supposed to make a false uh, make false or unjustified claims kutoa information ambazo huna wakanazo should not kwa mfano kama sasa hivi uh, this pandemic disease corona covid 19 kila mtu anasema ana dawa, huyu anasema ana dawa, huyu anasema ana dawa, lakini dawa zote zinatakiwa zibi approved. Zikibi approved ndio zinaweza kutumika. Kwa hiyo wewe kama uh, kama pharmaceutical personnel you are not allowed to make any false or unjustified claims on the 
efficacy safety or quite of any medicine ambazo is not approved. You should not enter into an agreement with the medical practitioner or other healthcare workers or any other person that put in danger the life of the patient to the most appropriate medicines. Kwa hiyo usijihusishe na mtu yote ambaye Claudia kule kule usijihusishe na mtu yote ambaye anakwenda kufanya maisha ya mgonjwa au maisha ya client kwa katika hatari. Should not, should only offer advice on homeopathic homeopathic or herbal medicine or any other complementary therapies or medicine if the if he or she has an attack in suitable training or have specialized in knowledge. Kwa hiyo katika ukakisha kwamba tunapata a safety and efficacy uh, medicine sisi as pharmaceutical personnel pale ambapo unakuwa hauna hauna you are not uh, specialized you have not uh, specialized in uh, knowledge au you have not undertaken suitable training usijaribu kujiengage katika kutoa advice yote. Kwa hiyo lazima utoe advice pale ambapo unapokuwa una you are competent kwenye ile area you are competent in that area ndo unaweza ukasema let me uh, give uh, advice about uh, like, let's say herbal medicine au homeopathic medicine kwa hiyo pale ambapo unakuwa you are not uh, you are not competent pale ambapo unakuwa una uh, suitable training pale ambapo unakuwa you are not specialized you have not uh, you are not specialized katika uh, you have not any, any any specialized knowledge about uh, Uh, that area uh, hautakiwi kutoa ushauri kwa hiyo hakisha unatoa ushauri pale ambapo you are competent code number 4 access to essential essential medicines equitable access of essential medicine is a major concern to pharmaceutical personnel kwa hakisha kwamba kuna usawa katika upatikanaji au uh, upatikanaji wa dawa kwa wateja wetu there are patients who cannot afford medicine they need therefore a pharmaceutical personnel uh, they, uh, they need therefore a pharmaceutical personnel should promote the use of cost effective therapies and discourage the purchase or use of non essential products kwa hiyo kuna watu wengine ambao hawa na uwezo wa kupata dawa kulingana na bei we as pharmaceutical personnel we should promote the use of cost effective therapies and uh, not not encourage the purchase of or use of non essential product lakini katika access to essential medicines what our obligations wajibu wetu sisi should not participate participate in any scheme designed to profit him or his partner partner employer by sacrificing sacrificing the quality of medicine or well-being of the patient tusijihusishe katika vitu vyote ambavyo vinakwenda ku uh, vina vina vitoletea Uh, a sana faida katika kutoa huduma kwa wateja wetu uh, we should not participate in any scheme designed to provide to provide us or our partner or our employer by sacrificing profit by sacrificing the quality of medicine or the well-being of the patient we should assist the patient to make a choice about their own best interest kwa hiyo les, lazima tuwe tuwashauri tuwashauri wagonjwa tuwashauri wateja katika kufanya machaguo ambayo ni wanapendia na machagua ambao wamechagua sisi kazi yetu ni kwa kutoa advice kwa wateja has a professional obligation in ensuring that the patient is provided with the right cost effective and safety therapies kuna wajibu wa kisha kwamba wateja wetu wagonjwa wanapata uh, dawa zilizo sahihi na kwa bei na kuna matibabu ambayo ni salama should facilitate access to medicine to the patient without showing personal interest. Kwa hiyo katika kuhakikisha kwamba watu wote wanapata dawa, tusonyeshe tusonye interest zetu, tusonyeshe kwamba we are interested katika tuna interest katika kile kitu ambacho tunakielezea au kile ambacho tunakishauri kwa wateja wetu. Beyond any reasonable doubt and for the interest of the well-being of the patient may establish repeat medical services however must guard must guard against any possible misuse of such service. Code number 5 promote use of medicine <coughs> technical legal social cultural restriction and lack of awareness of prevent many client to access medicine they need and therefore a major concern for pharmaceutical personnel however pharmaceutical personnel should only participate in promoting method and campaign that encourage the use of medicine so as to prevent unnecessary effect that may occur on the use of medicine kwa hiyo hey, we as pharmaceutical personnel tunatakiwa kufanya uh, ni lazima tupartisipate katika ku promote methods njia ambazo na campaign ambazo zina encourage of use of medicine 
uh, na hii tatusaidia kuzuia uh, unnecessary effect that may occur on the use of medicine kwa sababu we as medicine med medicine experts we as pharmaceutical personnel we are supposed to encourage the use of rational uh, uh, rational use of medicine we are supposed to encourage the use of rational use of medicine ambapo itatusaidia kama tuki encourage na watu wakaelewa that means we are going to minimize if not to prevent a necessary effect that may occur on the use of medicine our obligation under promote rational use of medicines we must ensure all information and the publicity for medicine and service are legal decent and trustful be presented and distributed in a manner so as not to bring the profession to dispute uh, and not to, be, to abuse the trust or exploit the lack of knowledge of the public tutumie nafasi kwa wala kwa jamii kwamba kwa sababu haijui basi na sisi tutumie nafasi hiyo kutoa information ambazo they are not decent and they are not trustful kwa hiyo we as pharmaceutical pharmacy personnel lazima tuhakikishe kwamba information zinazowafikia wagonjwa information zinazofikia wateja information zinazofikia jamii kuhusu dawa they are na services zetu na huduma zetu they are legal zile za kisheria decent and trustful na lazima tu avoid uh, abusement the trend the trust of all exploit the lack of knowledge of the public must guarantee the information and promotion of material relating to professional service comply with the law of pharmaceutical personnel as skilled and informed the advisors about medicine common element to general healthcare and well-being during promotion it must be pre present so as to allow the client to decide independently whether or not to use a service and should not disparage the professional service of other pharmaceutical pharmacies or pharma, pharmaceutical personnel kwa hiyo sisi hapa tutakiwa kudharau na kudhalilisha au kupuuza mawazo ya uh, pharmaceutical personnel wenzetu kwa hiyo lazima tufanye cooperation lazima tuheshimu mawazo na lazima uh, tuhakikishe kwamba uh, to uh, allow our client to decide independently uh, whether or not to use the services kwa hiyo tusiwalazimishe wateja wetu kutumia uh, kutumia service ambayo kutumia huduma tunayoitoa sisi isipokuwa tunatakiwa <coughs> tufanye promotion <coughs> sorry tufanye promotion ambayo itawasaidia wao kujua uh, where to go whether to use or not to use our service must not make any associated approach for promotion of medicine to a member of the public by any means of communication may display the prices at which they sell medicines kwa hiyo wakati mwingine unaweza lazima uonyeshe na dawa zako bei zake pale u display prices at which they you are selling your your, uh, your medicines or medical medical devices shall not deviate from the prescribed instruction when dispensing except when necessary to the to protect the patient kwa hiyo lazima tu comply to comply lazima tukubaliane na prescribed instruction lakini uh, tunaweza tuka 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 uh, acha comply au tuka, tuka, tuka acha kubaliana na prescribed instruction pale inapoeleka kwamba kuna umuhimu au uh, we want to protect the patient kama kuna shida ambayo unaona kwamba anyway uh, huyu prescriber ame ame miss pale kwenye kwenye prescription yake unaweza ukafanya utaratibu ambao utasaidia ku protect patient ku protect patient asiye akapata matatizo kwa sababu ya default iliyofanywa na prescriber code number 6 pharmaceutical personnel patient relations mahusiano kati ya pharmaceutical personnel na na client au na mgonjwa pharmaceutical personnel establish uh, pharmaceutical personnel establish and maintaining a unique relationship with each patient that is based on an ethical covenant the word covenant means that pharmaceutical personnel have more obligation in return for the trust given to them by society kwa hiyo kwa sababu tumeaminiwa ah tumeaminiwa na jamii na sisi lazima tujiaminishe na lazima turudishe uh, hisani kwa jamii the pharmaceutical personnel encourage shared responsibility for the adherence of medication regimen in achieving desired drug therapy outcomes this principle implies that the best pharmaceutical service no matter how provided it occur where the opportunity exists for direct contact between patient and the pharmaceutical 
personnel. Obligations. Pharmaceutical personnel has a duty to tell the truth, uh, to act with conviction of concerns and uh, to avoid discriminatory practice and behavior. Kwa hini lazima tuseme ukweli. Uh, B, we should try to have uh, a direct contact and communication with the patient as a person in the process of providing, providing pharmaceutical care services. Uh, must be aware that individual patients have a right under data protection legislation to access his records. Kwa hiyo lazima sometimes uh, a patient kama na lazima tujua kabisa kwamba mgonjwa na right ya kupata taarifa zake za uhusiana na na matatizo yake. Must assist the patient in their expression of needs and values and should recognize their right but not prejudice by factors such as patient race, ethnic, origin, culture, beliefs, and social and marital status, gender, sexual orientation, and age or healthy status. Kwa hiyo, we have to assist the patient without bothering or without to consider their ethnic origin. Uh, we must give service to patient without uh, consider our, uh, his culture or her culture, his belief or her belief, social and marital status, gender, sexual orientation, Age or healthy status Kwa hiyo usijia ukabagua katika kutoa Huduma kwa gonjwa Code number 7 Privacy and confidentiality Lazima uh, US pharmaceutical personnel utue, Utunze CV The pharmaceutical personnel preserves The confidentiality of information about Individual patients acquired in the Cause of his professional practice And does not develop this Information develop this information Except where authorized by the Patient or required by law Kwa hiyo you are not allowed to give out any information About your client You are not allowed to give out any information Kuhusu mbonjo wako anese otherwise They are needed or by uh, by law or in, uh, you are authorized by the patient Kwa hiyo mgonjwa kama akikuruzu kwa mba uh, Information zangu natakua umpe nani Basi unaza wakampa Lakini vile vile information zako zina, Information zake zinaza zika itajia kisheria Kwa hiyo information zinaza zika pere kwa uh, Kwenye koti Maybe kwenye koti au zina itajia katika balaza Ote ambalo rena maamuzi kisheria Kwa mfano uh, Katika mzungu kwa kwa maisha umekutana na uh, labda ume be attacked by bandits uh, Bada ku be attacked by bandit, bandits Umeenda uh, kutibiwa Kisha tibiwa Kuna wakati wale bandits Waneza wakakamatwa Kikamatwa Maake lazi wakua kuna evidence Kwa mba kweli hui umtu Alipata shida hiyo Alibamiwa na watu Waka mjelui Bada kumjelui Akaja katibiwa Alitibiwa to this extent Kwa hiyo information Will be uh, Divrug Lakini kwa sababu ya uh, Kwa sababu it is required by law Pharmaceutical personnel protect their patient by saving them in a private and confidential manner Pharmaceutical personnel should not reveal information that identify the patient Except in instance where there is a compelling needs as for professional judgments Glouds to share information in order to protect the patient from harm Or where authorized by the patient or required by so, kwa hiyo hali mama ambayo inaweza kafanya yu pharmaceutical personnel uka disclose information Sio wewe kama pharmaceutical personnel umetua prescription ambayo inawesha kwamba somebody uh, is diagnosed by a certain uh, disease Kwa hiyo wewe sasa unaanza kutangaza kwa mbana unamjua fulani ye eh, Kwa fulani mbana nipokea prescription kutuwa kwa daktari ambayo inawesha kabisa kwa mba laba hizi HIV Positive. Kwa hiyo unaanza kutoa information kwa watu You are not allowed to do so you as pharmaceutical personnel so Pharmaceutical personnel should not develop information that identify the patients Except in instances where there is a compelling need as for professional judgment grounds To share information in order to protect the patient from harm Or where authorized by the patient or required by law Obligations will be Hey, must he provide the pharmaceutical care service with the consideration for the personal pri uh, privacy of patients? Must ensure affirmative duties exist to institute and maintain practice that protect the patient confidentiality. Should make sure whether appropriate referred to the patient the boundaries of professional confidentiality. Pharmacy care may require that other healthcare personnel have access to or be provided with the relevant information. These are obligations under privacy and confidentiality. 
Whenever possible, the patient should be informed and generally it is up to the patient to determine who should be informed and what personal information should be released. Kwa hiyo ni lazima mgonjwa atarifiwe na inapobidi uh, mgonjwa mwenyewe anaweza kaamua uh, kwamba ni information gani ambazo uh, should be released. Information gani ambazo yule pharmaceutical personnel anatakiwa umpe yule mtu ambaye anatakiwa kupea zile information. When is conflict treated with the the necessity to disclose confidentiality should be preserved as much as possible both the amount of information disclosed and those to whom the disclosure is made should be restricted only to that information which is necessary kwa hiyo na ina premium lazima kwamba information zile zitakuwa zitolewe basi lazima information ziwe zile zile tu zinazotakiwa sio utoe information zote ndio maana amesema kwamba Uh, both the amount of information disclosed and those to whom the disclosure is made should be restricted only to that information which is necessary must ensure that electronic and manual system which is include patient specific information in complete access control system to minimize the risk of unauthorized access to the data kwa hiyo lazima kama information is zimeweka electronically au zimeweka manually lazima kuwe na a uh, pin identification number ambayo itazigavana au itazigaje itazigaje au itazilinda zile information na watu ambao wanataka ku ambao they are not authorized to access that information wasiweze ku access easily kwa hiyo information lazima zibi pin the out au zinatakiwa ziwekewe password au zihifadhiwe katika mazingira ambayo an authorized person cannot access it easily may recognize the patient family member of choice and with the patient consent attempts to facilitate where appropriate the participation of the other should be allowed in the case in the care of the patients kwa hiyo you as pharmaceutical personnel you are supposed to recognize the patient's family member a uh, patient's family member of choice kama nani amechaguliwa kwenye kwa ajili ya kupata information kuhusu huyu mgonjwa kwa hiyo you as pharmaceutical personnel you are supposed to recognize the patient's family member of choice and with the patient's consent kwa idhini ya mgonjwa mwenyewe attempts to facilitate where appropriate the participation of others should be allowed in the care of the patients kama inapo inapo itajika hata unaweza ukashirikisha na wengine kama kuna umuhimu kwamba uh, huyu mgonjwa sasa is supposed to be cared uh, mo, to, uh, with more uh, is supposed to be cared by uh, more than one individual au one me uh, one, uh, one family member kwa hiyo unaweza vile vile ukawa 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 include na wengine where appropriate the participation of other should be allowed in the care of the patient code number 8 competence in lifelong learning kwa hiyo you as pharmaceutical personnel lazima uwe na uh, attempt uh, kuhudhuria mafunzo mbalimbali mbali katika maisha yako yote ambayo tunakutaita ni uh, CPD uh, CPD pharmaceutical personnel should take responsibility to maintain their own competency and they strive always to perfect and enhance their professional knowledge hapa ndipo CPD inapo be applied continuous professional development kwa hiyo unakuwa unapata mafunzo ambayo yana keep update updated katika uh, taaluma yako ya farmers kwa hiyo you have to to uh, to be competent and a lifelong learner obligations must under under competence and the life long learn, learning our obligation are we must commit ourselves or a pharmaceutical personnel must commit himself to lifelong learning designed to maintain relevant knowledge skills and attitude in order to execute its duties development or improvement and odds in their performance as part of the of the review should be professionally competent and abreast of the latest development in the area which associated with his function and scope of practice on lazima upende kujifunza ni lazima uongeze knowledge yako ni lazima uongeze skill yako ni lazima uh, ukuze attitude yako ambayo itakusaidia wewe katika kuendeleza uh, katika kufanya kazi ambazo ziko kwenye scope of your practice must undertake minimum or 
of our continuing education structures to meet their personal needs and be able to provide evidence uh, when required. Kwa hiyo <coughs> lazima ujuingie kwenye mafunzo ya continuous professional development na haya mafunzo huwa yanafanyika uh, semina mbalimbali huwa zinatolewa angalau uwe umehudhuria hata mara mbili kwa mwaka every 6 uh, months uwe uhudhurie angalau uh, speed moja ndio maana amesema uh, must undertake a minimum of hours hours continuing education structure to meet their personal needs and be able to provide evidence when required kwa hiyo when you supposed to 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 show kwamba ume ulihudhuria speed ulihudhuria mafunzo ambayo yanalenga katika kukuza uh, kukuza na kuimarisha taaluma yako na kufanya wewe kuwa more competent lazima ukiambia utoe evidence kwamba ulihudhuria lazima uwe tayari kuonyesha kwamba nilihudhuria mafunzo ambayo yanahusiana na uh, semina fulani nilihudhuria semina fulani ambayo yanahusiana na mafunzo uh, fulani katika uh, matumizi sahihi ya dawa labda au nilihudhuria mafunzo fulani ambayo taniniweka vizuri katika ku provide service CTC Code number 9 Pharmaceutical practitioner other healthcare providers relationship Kama tumeona kule kwamba pharmaceutical uh, pharmaceutical personnel na client sasa leo tunaona pharmaceutical hapa tunakuja kuona kwenye code number 9 uh, kwenye code number 9 kwenye kanuni ya tisa inazungumzia uh, mahusiano kati ya pharmaceutical personnel au practitioner na uh, watu wengine ambao tunafanya nao kazi na kada nyingine za za afya au health other health workers cross professional cooperation between pharmaceutical personnel and other healthcare pro- providers is encouraged to achieve the best possible outcomes for the patient mahusiano ya karibu kati yetu sisi wa pharmacia au pharmaceutical personnel and other healthcare workers haya yatasaidia kufikia malengo yasaidia ku achieve the best possible outcomes for the patient Therefore, pharmaceutical personnel should maintain an effective professional relationship with other healthcare providers and respect their ability, opinion and achievements. Uh, kwa hiyo ni lazima uh, tuheshimu, ni lazima tushirikiane uh, tujenge mahusiano ambayo ni thabiti kati ya sisi na other healthcare providers. Hii itapelekea uh, ku achieve the best possible outcomes Uh, for the patients ambao ndio lengo letu sis obligations and uh, pharmaceutical practitioner and other healthcare providers relationship should refrain from publicly criticizing other healthcare professional or their action exercise exercise in discretion in relation to the to all healthy matters kwa ni lazima tusicriticize ni lazima uh, tusijenge Uh, tujenge mahusiano mazuri ni lazima pale ambapo uh, your colleague amefanya kitu ambacho you, you, you see kwamba it's not in good manner don't criticize him uh, don't criticize him or her public public ni lazima ufate taratibu ambazo ni nzuri katika kumweleza kwamba what you have done is not in our scope of practice kwa hiyo unatakiwa tufanye mambo yafuatayo ili kuweza kufata kwa kufanya kutimiza malengo yetu ambayo ni ku provide well-being of our community you should you should as much as possible maintain an effective communication with other care professionals lazima ujenge mahusiano mazuri kati yako na uh, other care professionals must share information relating to the efficacy safety or quality of any medicine method of practice with other care professionals kama tuliona <coughs> don't with the holiday withhold information about efficacy safety quality of, of any medicine or any method of practice lazima uwe tayari kutoa information uh, to the best of your knowledge kwa uh, wanataaluma wenzako must cooperate with other healthcare professional in matters relating to the health care code number 10 well being of the community <coughs> This is the last code of our uh, this is the last code of our our profession which is well-being of the community pharmaceutical personnel understand the, that the well-being of the community rests on the good health of individual 
that make it. He should promote healthy lifestyle hygiene and provide health care services that promote individual healthy healthy. Or although they should live lead lives that are exemplary exemplary to the rest of the community. Kwa hiyo lazima as a pharmaceutical personnel should promote healthy lifestyle uh, hygiene and provide health care services that promote individuals health. Ndiyo target yetu kwamba we have to provide to, provide, to promote healthy lifestyle uh, uh, how to promote good hygiene we have to provide health care services that promote individual individuals health although they should uh, lead lives that are exemplary to the rest of the community and we are the pharmaceutical personnel ni lazima tuishi tuwe kama mfano kwa jamii obligation and uh, well-being of the community must promote, develop, implement, and maintain policies which are designed to prevent ill health and to promote healthy life of the community. Has a professional obligation to exercise control of all medical, medicinal, and related products that are manufactured, purchased, or supplied, supplied so that they are safe, efficacious, and of good quality. Must not condone the use and abuse of the drug of drugs or any other substance that can induce changes in the personality of the person hii inaweza kama uh, summary ya yote ambayo tumeyasoma kule nyuma kwa hiyo tuliona kule kwamba we must not condone the use of and the abuse of drugs or any other substance that can induce changes in the personality of a person <coughs> sorry Shall not sell in the farmers products such as tobacco, liquor and related products except when meant of for medicinal purposes. Kwa hiyo uruhusiwi kuuza vitu kama tobacco unless otherwise vipo pale kwa ajili ya tiba. Must take sufficient reasonable steps to ensure that working or con working condition are so arranged so as to protect the safety of the public and people working in the premises. Hilo nao ni jukumu letu kuhakikisha kwamba maeneo tunafanyia kazi there are any good arrangement must ensure that the external and internal appearance of the community farmers and hospital farmers are identified uh, reflect the professional nature of the farmers and inspire confidence in the nature of healthcare it provides as stipulated under the farmers act 2011 cap number 311 and its regulations kwa hiyo lazima tuachie vile vile muonekano wa pharmacy zetu au maeneo yetu yafanyia kazi kufanyia shughuli za farmers whether the farmers whether is community farmers or hospital pharmacy zinafanana zina reflect zina reflect professional farmers na ziwe zina abide kwenye uh, kama zilivyoandi zilivyoainishwa au zilivyo based plated under the farmers act of 2011 sura ya 311 should ensure that before providing diagnostic tests and health screening services they must comply with the standards and all of other concerns tribes kwa hiyo lazima uhakikishe kwamba SOP standard operating procedure kabla hujafanya hujafanya uh, diagnostic diagnostic test, testing na uja provide health screening ziwe katika utaratibu leo mzuri you should have completed the training required to ensure competence with the diagnostic service equipment procedure to be used in the uh, in the interpretation of results and must be aware of limits of the test providers. Kwa lazima uwe competent, lazima uwe umekuwa specialized katika area ambayo unaenda kufanyia uh, kufanyia kufanyia kazi. Engage engages in a dialogue with the patient provides a public education to community groups and seek opportunities to advocate for health promotion to benefit society as a whole. Lazima uh, uingeji kwenye midahalo mbalimbali ambayo lengo lake kubwa uh, ni kukuza uh, na kuleta faida uh, ya jamii kwa ujumla katika upande wa afya that is the end of our presentation let us meet uh, next time